Yo, what's good? It's Axe Gunner and today I'll be sharing with you the top 10 items I merch to make billions of mesos. But before we get into it, I wanted to be able to rank each of these items, so I've developed a little grading system to help you decide which item best suits your needs. For each item, we'll be talking about the price, the profit margin in percentage, scalability, is it effective merching this item in the billions, Liquidity, which means how quickly you can sell your items. Supply, is there too much of this item or too little? Demand, how much do people want this item? So that's the grading system I'll be using. Let's get started. Number one on the list, cubic blades. Cubic blades are the bread and butter of merching. They're low cost, meaning they're absolutely awesome for anyone starting to build their wealth. And because these are required to craft cubes, moving this product won't ever be an issue. Profit margin is a constant 40 to 60%. Overall, 10 out of 10, it's the perfect items for both beginners and experienced merchants. Number two on the list, 50% Innocent Scrolls. Innocent Scrolls are extremely similar to Cubic Blades. Due to their low cost and high demand, you will have no problems in profiting from these. Now, these scrolls are very interesting because come Spell Trace Fever, these become very high in demand. So you can be expecting up to 200% profit. Overall, I rate the item 10 out of 10. It's very beginner friendly and merching these will teach you how to take advantage of Spell Trace Fever. Number three, Epic Pot 50% scrolls. Now these scrolls sell like hotcakes. This is another beginner friendly item to merch. It doesn't have an on and off peak, meaning you don't have to worry about timing the market. I've never had an issue with selling these. Everything about this item is great overall. 8.5 out of 10. Number four, spell traces. Spell traces are profitable, but because they're so cheap, investing one bill into these will fill your entire inventory. So unless you have mules that can hold these for you, it's a very big hassle. And even if you have unlimited space, the auction house only allows you to list 10 items at a time, limiting the speed at which you move the products. But have no fear, if you're willing to go through the trouble of hoarding these, once Spell Trace Fever comes, chances are you're going to be the only one selling it, so you get to set the price and decide on the profit margin that you want. Overall, 7 out of 10. If you have mules, try it out, but if you don't, I wouldn't suggest it. Number 5, Clean Slate 10%. First, I would not recommend any beginners to merch these because the only time they're actually making decent profit is during Spell Trace Fever. During regular weeks, I average about 20% profit, which is very low. And on top of that, the average demand is also low. So overall, I'd rate it 5 out of 10. It's good if you have spare mesos, but don't focus on these too much. Number six, superior item crystals. I only put this up because it's an item unfunded players can merch. Don't expect big returns. All I can say is it gets the job done. Overall, I'd rate it 4 out of 10. This is something to keep your eye out for and just use to make a little side profit. Number 7, A Nebulites. A Nebulites are end game gear, so it's always in high demand. Some notable Nebulites to trade are the percentage ore stats, the percentage main stats, boss damage, Decent skills, hyper body and sharp eyes, excuse my burp. My experiences have all been positive, so overall, I give it a 7 out of 10. Try it out, it's an interesting market and certainly very, very profitable. Number 8, No Boom AEE. No Boom AEE is another end game item. These are used to scroll torrents, and the only way to get them is through the Marvel machine. So these are extremely limited, meaning the longer you hold them, the higher the price. But be warned, once Marvel comes around again, the prices will drop. Overall, I'd rate this 8 out of 10. Don't be greedy, and take your profits humbly. Number 9, Prime Scrolls. Prime Scrolls is another item that can only be gotten from Marvel Machine and the best strategy to profit from these are buying them during Marvel, wait a couple of weeks, then jack up the price. Merching these on regular weeks is not recommended because the prices have a very low spread, meaning it's very difficult to find people selling these at a low price. Overall, I'd rate this uh, 5 out of 10. Number 10, Permanent NX. 
the best advice I can give is do your own research and only use mesos that you're willing to lose. It's a very difficult market to profit from. I've had friends buy 100 mil NX items and flip it for 9 bill in a week. But on the other hand, I know experienced merchants that have bought Perma NX and have been holding it ever since. Overall, I give it a 7 out of 10. Do not get into merching permanent NX. It's a very difficult market. Okay, so that's it guys. These are the items I merch to fund myself. I'm sure that you will all have great success as well. If this video has been informative in any way, shape or form, hit the subscribe button because I will be making more Maple Story content that you can benefit from. And if you guys need tips on how to find bargains, check out my guide on bargain hunting. This is Axe Gunner, the real Axe Gunner. Peace out.